In this video, I will show you how I created this repeat pattern and color it with the Pantone color of the year, the Mocha palette. So let's start creating. Starting with the tiny thumbnails, I opened Procreate. I opened a rectangular canvas, selected a blue color, then went to the pattern builder kit and selected drop separated, then tapped once, select transform, and fit to canvas. Then went to the layer, lowered the opacity, then I went to the range tool and added a new insert a photo and it selected the sketch that or the thumbnail that I created and I'm gonna remove the snapping and use free transform to add it inside the shape and keep adjusting until I'm satisfied after that I create a new layer go to the colors and select a gray then go to the brushes and select 6b and on this layer I'm gonna start creating a refined sketch I hit my thumbnail and I have this sketch but I realized that it's too much flower I wanted to add birds so I'm going to the select tool and I'm gonna remove sections where I want to add birds to make it more interesting I have my selection with three fingers down and I'm gonna select cut now I'm gonna to add birds after adding the birds i wanted the design to be more uh, intricate and what I mean by that, I'm going to duplicate my guide, select a red color, and on this guide, I'm going to draw shapes that I want it to be inside. And what I mean by that, so every element that you put in this side, it will be reflected on the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate my uh, guide, then making sure that the snapping is on, I'm going to drag it to the corner and lower the opacity again. So what you will see is this section, I'm going to erase it, I'm just going to select and cut so this section here it will be on this side so what I wanted to do is go to my pencil then I'm gonna add elements to this section so I have my flowers I'm gonna add leaves and make this flower bigger and put it start. So this section it will be reflected here. So what will happen is I'm gonna do the same for this section. I'm gonna duplicate the guide, select it and move it to the section that is parallel to this one and I'm gonna lower the opacity. So this one I'm gonna erase all this section and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this one and I will add more 
flowers from this section. So what will help me do in this one is that that the design will be more uh, mixed together and it will be more interesting than so in doing that you won't see the guides after so I'm gonna merge all these and I'm gonna lower the opacity of my guide create a new layer then go to go back to my pantone colors set it as default then select the darkest color go to my brushes and for this design I'm gonna use outline so I'm on the top layer and I'm gonna start outlining my design I was happy with the 70s retro style uh, approach so I want to keep it outline because it's more interesting for me now so what will happen is I'm gonna construct my design with the outline in mind
So I'm happy with the outline. I'm gonna hide the guides, then rename my uh, outline. I'm gonna duplicate it and make sure that I have a original copy to, in case I needed to make some changes to my design, I'm gonna hide it and I'm gonna remove the guide from the sketches and I'm gonna hide the sketch group. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the background, select a light background, then go to the color element. And for this palette, I'm gonna start with the birds. So I'm gonna select the pink and drag the color inside the shape and select continue filling and keep on tapping inside the shapes that I want this colors to be filled in. Try to zoom in to tap inside of your shape. You can go and select a different color and keep tapping inside the shapes. The continue filling will still be active. I realized here that I didn't close this section. So I'm going to my darker color and fill this section. Then return to the brushes, select the color and drag it inside. And I didn't tap continue filling. So I'm gonna select a different color and keep tapping inside the shapes because the continue fill is active. So I'm satisfied now with my pattern. So what will happen now is I'm gonna group the illustration with the guide. And if you have problems uh, placing elements in the corners with the guide, what I recommend is you create a new layer, fill it with white and put it on multiply. So when you put it a white layer on the multiply, it won't show, but it's still gonna duplicate this group four times because I want to put them in the corners of my design. So I select each group and snap it to the corner. selecting all the groups and I'm gonna swap them together to have one layer for this one. So I'm gonna hide the white and the guides and see if the pattern is working as I want. So with three fingers, I'm gonna swipe to the bottom, select copy all, then go to the top, make sure I'm on the top layer. With three fingers, I'm gonna select paste and this flattened layer created by Procreate, I'm gonna duplicate it three times. And each copy, I'm gonna make it have the size of my canvas. So I'm selecting the blue corners. 
and make each layer have the size of my canvas. And here our final design. I hope this video is helping you and I hope you create something similar and tag me or DM me on my Instagram. I will be adding more videos so if you are interested you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.